everyone, this is Melissa with the stockswish.com and I'm doing a market review here of the SPY. I feel compelled to do this this morning here before the open even. It's 914 and the room can listen to my market call for today. I, I have speechless as I'm sitting here looking at my gaps this morning and seeing the market do this at 8.30. 8.30 a.m. on the dot, on the nose, it made this move up in here, which carried through, followed through, and will carry through. The market will make a new high today. 100% conviction, no chance of failure. I've been saying it all along. It's May 8th. I thought the market would make a new high before the end of April. It didn't. Did I know that we still would? Yes, absolutely 100%. It's so important to have conviction. And actually in the room today, when we're done, I'm going to give a lecture for those of you that are listening. I'm going to give a lecture in the room today when we are done trading. Let me write myself a note. You, you have to see what you see and have conviction. Sometimes the timing doesn't work out exactly. And what happens with people when they trade is that then they question themselves. Then they lose conviction. Why would you lose conviction? If you know what you know, which I know what I know, and, and the people that I've taught know what they know, if you know what you know and you know what it is and you know it's real and you see the price, then you have the conviction and that's it. And that's why the knowledge gives you the conviction. And you can't trade without knowledge. And you can't trade without conviction. And you have to have it all. I knew the market would do this. This is, this is an incredible call. And by the way, so is my whole market call for the entire year. This year, 2015, it's going to carry through into the next few years. The SPY will reach 300. I'm, I'm thinking now the way that it is with the calendar year, because it's May 8th, that we may see 275 by December 31st, 2015. 300 may not hit by the end of the calendar year. It doesn't even matter, okay? The numbers that I'm calling that the market will reach us here, no one else is saying. So whether we hit 275 or 270 or 272 and a half or 300 by the end of the year, we will run so far past. What everyone is saying and calling that the market is going to do this year, which by the way, everyone thinks the market's going to fall. And every time we have days like we did in the last week and the last two weeks and the last month and the last three months, everyone keeps saying that we are not higher and we are higher. And we're going to do it today, today, 916 Eastern time. I saw it 45 minutes ago. I sat here speechless. And, and for me to say that I'm speechless, that happens once every century. I'm speechless and I made the call and I knew what happened. And I knew it would happen, but I'm still speechless. <laughs> New high in the market today, target's 215. Go long the market. If you did the swing trade call, you should have never gotten out. You should have never gotten out. And if you did, you should have gotten back in. And I hope those of you that took it got back in, okay? This is the low in the market for the whole calendar year. I said that whenever I saw it in here, this, this is the low of the market, that we will not break this number for the entire year of 2015. I said that whenever I saw that, the market will get nowhere near the 200. This is happening here and every day. I said, we're not bearish, we're not bearish, we're not bearish, we're not bearish. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. We're high. We're going to make a new high. No chance of failure. We're going to make a new high. Target for the market today is 215. I, I don't see how we don't even get there. Could even go past that. You can aggressively go on the market today, depending on how we set up. We are gapping up. This morning we were at 211.12. Previous high was 213. The shorts aren't even stopped out of this yet. I mean, that is the amazing thing here. This is just buying. All that you're seeing right now is buying. Every short now, people have shorted this market. They've shorted the double, triple, quadruple, quadrillion top. They're not out. That's not what you see here. This isn't even short covering. This is buying. This is new buying. This is new buying that's happening in the market, which I saw was going to happen anyways. And how did I know? Because I knew the money was still there. I knew the power money was still in there. I knew it wasn't selling out. I knew the power money was still present in the market from reading the gaps, the bearish gaps, the bullish gaps, all the gaps, the neutral gaps, everything that I read. This is new money coming to the market here. This isn't even the shorts being stopped out. Guess what? When those shorts get stopped out, the market will blow. It could be today. And I'm not saying we blow today, but I'm saying we make a new high today. But we could blow when those shorts get stopped out. This isn't even the shorts getting stopped out. This isn't even covering. This is buying that's happening right here. That's how it looks, okay? This is unexpected for people. Unless you name as Miss Melissa Armo, you think that the market was going to come in. And traders shorted this market. And unless your name is Melissa Armo, you thought that this market was going to break and fall. And you shorted it. But it wasn't, and I knew that it wasn't going to. And the market's higher. It is so, so higher. It's, people are saying 220, 225. We're, we're almost there. We're, we're even almost there, okay? 
And the bottom line is that this, this is not even, this hasn't even gone anywhere yet. I cannot even, words cannot describe, I must create a word. I'm going to make a word for the strength in this market because I've never seen anything like it. And when I got up this morning, I was speechless. And every time I see something like this, I keep saying I am speechless. We will 100% retrace in one bar today the sell-off that has wiggled and jiggled and wiggled and jiggled and wiggled and jiggled for months we will we will retrace it in one bar do you understand that that's the kind of thing that i see in gaps that's what power looks like whether it's bullish or bearish when something can happen lickety split that that flips everything around that is the power of money that's what money does that's what money looks like that's how money acts that's what money is and it doesn't matter if it's selling or buying but in the case of the market it's buying but the point is the point i'm trying to make is when power you cannot be against power you're in danger if you trade against power danger because when it comes in it comes in lickety split and that's why you can't trade against it and that's why you gotta see it and if you don't see it then you shouldn't trade the market you just shouldn't trade this people aren't are people are gonna get cream cream today creamed cream when we get over that high and I, 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 I it's gonna blow and I don't know if the blow happens today I don't know if the blow happens today or not 212 213 215 I'm saying but I don't even I don't even know where people are gonna give it up and, and it may be over 213 but it may not people may not give it up over 213 even still but I'm telling you this is not short covering right in here this is actual buying that's happening new buying I saw that the money was still there present active present even though i'm looking at a chart that looks like this and, 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 and i we just talked about this i just talked about this i just talked about this a week ago monday tuesday friday whatever day i compared disney to this i'm t look look at this right now and then we got to get ready to trade this i'm telling you this is such a good analogy too you uh if i could just if i could imprint my brain and sell it and package it up i'd be a billionaire look this this is the market this is what the market's going to look like and beyond this is Disney, and I said this the other day. Look, this is just, this is brilliance. We are so much higher. We are so much higher. And the timing of it, I have no idea, and it doesn't even matter, but I'm calling it. And just, this is just. So I don't know how we open. I don't know how we open up. I, I'm doing my shorts. I'm doing my shorts. We have some good gaps today, but the market is higher today. And uh, and that's the scoop. So I'll do a review later today, but this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. Have a great trading day, everyone. Good luck, everyone in the room. We're going to go over the gaps in a minute. Market's higher. I'm not concerned about it because I have good gaps today, but pff, between today and yesterday, this isn't even any, no one's covered. This is none of this. Nothing here is short covering. This is all new buying. And that's what's so spectacular about it. It's so spectacular because I saw that this would happen with a chart that looks like this. With a chart that looks like this that everyone's saying is extended and I'm telling you it's not. And that has no meaning anyways. There's no descriptive term that even describes that. It has no meaning if you are an actual person that trades. That is no way to trade. It's no strategy. It's no way to describe a single thing. You know what's extended? A rubber band when you pull it. And that's not how you, that's not what you do with your life, with your money. It's not a way to trade. Okay? All right, I got to go. Have a good day, everyone.